how big is the desire to end the season on a high against Grimsby on Saturday? Yeah, we want to win. We want to get to 50 points and um, finish the season off um, in good fashion. And, and, and like I've said, it, it carry carry into into next season. And I suppose there's still that, that carrot of contracts for players as well. They've got their futures to look after as well. Are you still working players out in your own mind or you know, are there still any 50-50s? Um, yeah, there's one or two. There's one or two 50-50s. There's some that I'm clearing my mind about. You know, we've... We've offered uh, Ozzy a, a good contract, so we're just waiting for, for us to make a decision on that. Um, so yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll work our way through it over the next couple of days. And is Isaiah Osborne the only one you've offered a contract to at the moment, or are there others? Oh, Ozzy's the only one we have so far. We haven't got that many sort of that are in and around the first team that are out of contract. And actually, that must be quite a nice position to be in because obviously there's quite a few are coming to the end of deals, which. Presumably they'll be moving on if they've not been around the team. So you've got a bit of flexibility, but also a lot of the core of your squad for next season is going to be the ones you brought in in January. That's right. Um, we're in a position where we've got uh, a, a big part of our budget to, to use um, on, on new players coming in. So it's a good position to be in. When you're doing that, do you set deadlines for players? Do you look to think, right, well, let's get the business done early and so that you can get some momentum? Obviously... Players from other clubs you can't really talk to yet, can you? No, but ideally you, you want to get your business done early, but um, sometimes you have to wait if you feel it's the right player. Um, uh, you know, and they might have a chance of a League One club, but, but they might not. You sometimes got to try and play a little bit cool and, and hopefully that they don't get that club and, and you're still there and, um, and you get them, but you've got to, sometimes they're worth waiting for. And you talk about Aussie. I suppose the big thing is that. Yes, he's played higher up, and he probably could do so again. But the main thing is he's enjoyed his football here, hasn't he? I think if you speak to Ozzy, he's you know he speaks about he speaks about that openly that he's he's not enjoyed his football as much for a long time, and I think that's a that's a big thing, you know, for if somebody's enjoying their football and and they're happy. Um, I just think with Ozzy, he's you know he's he's got to be happy, and if we can get an agreement, like I say, we've made him a good offer, and hopefully. Um, we can get that done sooner rather than later. How's Brad Collins after his concussion? He's fine. He's trained this morning, so he's um, he's, he's passed all the, the tests for the concussion, so he's back and he'll be available for Saturday. But the way that Cam Belford played on Saturday at Luton, presumably you've got a decision to make, a nice problem to have. That's right. Yeah, we'll, we'll look at that over the next couple of days and make sure that we, we try and make the right one. Um, obviously, Chris Clements not available for this game. Um, how will you look to, to fill that, that gap in midfield? We've got a number of options, so you know we're, we're looking at one or two um, variables. And, uh, I'm sure we'll pick the right one on Saturday. Can you use this game for a little bit of experimentation, or is it all still about the result and the three points for you? We're not really in a position where we've got that many players where we can experiment. It's been sort of the same sort of 16, 17 over the last few weeks, so um, we'll continue to do that. And, we want to just make sure, or we, we try and do our best to get three points. A word on Grimsby, obviously they made themselves safe last Saturday. Does that sort of add, add a bit of relief? Because obviously this could have been, you know, from months ago, a, a crucial game at this point, and now it's just another game. Yeah, you don't want to, at no point did we ever want it to go to, if we had to, then yeah, but at no point in an ideal world did we ever want to be battling in the last game to, to stay up. So... Uh, we made sure that didn't happen. Um, Grimsby did it last week. You know, I looked at one point they might have to come here and get something, but um, they beat Notts County last week to do that. So it's a game that both teams can try and enjoy, and uh, without the added pressure of, of having to get a result. I've spoken about Brad back and available. Um, any other concerns or any other players returning from injury? No, we've got a, we've got a full squad to pick from. Thank you. Good luck. Thanks. I know you say about enjoying it on Saturday, but. It's still a game. It's not. A de it's not a dead rubber in, in no. some ways, is it? Well, like I said we want to get fifty points to give us some kind of a little bit of credibility to, to end the season on. So we want to we want to get to fifty points and then can't try and kick on. Yeah, your season's been up and down, but Grimsby's has been sort of quite shocking, really, hasn't it? The way they fell the way. Mm, big club Grimsby. At one point they looked when we played them in December, they looked as though they were on the tail of the playoffs. Uh, I don't think they won another game until. Not so long ago, so um, big club, you know, big club Grimsby, and uh, 
I'm sure they're relieved that they're not going back down to the non-league. Do you think the case, again, that's a point of uh, chairman should stick with their managers because they had some changes during the season and it didn't really seem to help? Well, uh, two schools of thought, didn't they? They could have stuck and, and gone down, but they've managed to scramble and, and get to safety. So, listen, it's, it's up to the individual chairman to do what they see, see fit. That's um, far from me to tell them what to do, Ash. It's this time of season now where there's going to be a lot of speculation in the media about who you might be signing. Carl Winchester has been mentioned in certain places at the moment. Is there any truth in that matter? Well, if they if that if that if that outlet keep printing stories, they're going to get one right, aren't they? They've got to get one right. I read somewhere that we tried to sign Billy Walters last year, but we didn't. So um, listen, let them write what they want to write. Some of the players that have been here for a long time who probably not in your in your thoughts. Uh, will there be any announcements coming with the people like Keanu Marsh Brown? Yeah, we'll we'll put our retained list out on uh, early next week after the bank holiday, and uh, everyone will be everyone will get to see who's who's staying and who's not. But there won't be that many surprises. Okay.